Hi, my name is Ian Kay. What I'd like to discuss with you today is how you use your body to support your voice. The main thing I think you have to realize is that the air which goes into your lungs is the power or the source uh, of your speaking and singing. Now singing, even more than in uh, speaking, you have to control the output of the air that goes through your vocal cords. Of course, you do that by taking a breath deeply uh, with your diaphragm pushing down as you inhale. And then you use your diaphragm muscles or your, your chest up here, your rib cage and back because your lungs protrude out your back and you can constantly put pressure on your lungs to help you take stress away from your vocal cords. So if you want to practice, we can do a little exercise to help you do it. I would suggest you make like a little fist and we're gonna, we're gonna do an exercise and I want you to go like that, tighten and put pressure on your back with your ribs, like pushing in like that. Ah, relax, breath. Ah, relax. Ah, relax. Ah, now as you sing higher, it helps if you not only go like that, but you go downward because you want to pull your larynx down just a little bit to help you sing in the higher notes. It needs more room for the faster vocal cords. So you go, nah. see what I did? If I don't do that, it comes a little harder for me to do it. Watch. Nah. I came out, but it, it didn't hit the groove as nicely as when I pushed down. Nah. It was a much smoother transition hitting that note. And you keep it that way as you're singing higher. Nah. can't sing that high, I would imagine, because I'm, I'm a tenor. Many of you are either altos or baritones. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. If you're an alto, you could probably hit some of those notes an octave lower. Okay? Now let's do a more difficult vowel like E. E is a very, E's and U's are very difficult. So let's try and do E. We'll, we'll make it a little easier by using an M in front of it, like me, 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 me. Now I'm not pushing down now because I'm not going into the head voice. I'm still singing up and back on my hard and soft palate. I only push downward when I'm going into the head voice. Just a little bit, not too much. Too much is, is no good either, but just a little bit to give it more room. Me, 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 Now I'm going to start to put a little pressure, not only this way, but down at the same time. Me, 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 me. Now let's do moo. Moo, 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 moo. I'm going like this now because that's not, I'm still on my hard and soft palate. I'm not going into the head voice yet. 
when I make that transition, then I'm going to start to push a little down to lower my larynx a little bit. Now I'm going to push downward a little bit at the same time because I'm getting into the head voice. And it goes right in there. You notice how smooth that was? That wasn't so smooth, but I got it out anyway. Okay? So just a little instruction there that you use your diaphragm and your your upper body, your chest, your back and front, not just the front of your chest, all the way back. And the ribs are surrounding your lungs and you have to put pressure on your lungs to give you the air support that you need. Otherwise, you're going to put too much pressure on your vocal cords. If you control the air that you need just right, not too much, not too little, you save your vocal cords. They don't have to work so hard, okay? I hope this has been of some help to you. And uh, I guess that would be uh, my lesson number three. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye now.